A year ago, I walked in through those doors, you know, the only person who knew me was Hibaru. And he knew about me going to my theater and stuff like that. And Papa welcomed me and everybody here at the Capi Cool House, you know, welcomed me, man. And today I could say that I feel like a poet, you know what I'm saying? So um, this piece is a very personal piece. So I'm just going to ask you guys to put on your seatbelt because we're going to go for a nice little ride, okay? All right. It's called Sail Dreams with a Splash of Nazi Poetry. Dreamers, we all have dreams. What does it mean to dream when most of our dreams have just sailed away? Are you dreaming about a new phase of life where you find yourself in a head fight? Or are we dreaming without any meaning just to take our own feelings? See, that's the question to the other question. You see, we all dream about the gold pot at the end of the rainbow while avoiding any blow to our confidence. But how do we achieve it? Moxie is the answer. But what is moxie? Dictionary defines it as a self-possessed confidence, seasoned with an attitude of fearlessness in everyday circumstances, with the capacity to stand alone in favor of any unpopular opinion. Hmm. The favor to stand alone in favor of any unpopular opinion. Hmm. Hmm. Zero, one, six. The year was 2016 when I had my aha moxie moment on a foggy cloudy day after losing my future dreams when the people that I trusted the most handed me a fortune cookie with a message of a Shakespeare word that said, hell is empty, all the devils are here. Just right before pushing me off the blue pill cliff to join the green eyed monster, the black lagoon that was filled with a bunch of yellow baboons as they twisted our loyalty with a so-called royalty because I had turned into a beta blue pill fool. Trying to run around all these goons, I started jumping from sins to pins, from pins to sins, from sins to pins, until I was able to grab the tail of a yellow double-headed serpent who proceeded to the row house blues, as now I was feeling the moody blues. When I entered the door in the corridor, they took me down to the alcoholic blues, which connected me to the Mexicali blues, which connected me to the psychedelic blues, which connected me to the depressive blues, where I saw a blue demon blushing, pointing to the front door of the suicidal blues. In an act of doubt and desperation, I proceeded to go down to the crossroads, go down on my knees and pray for mercy. Lord, save me if you please. Suddenly, the sky turned a fire and red, and the clouds parted like the Red Sea, and a poetic justice angel descended from the heavens, blessing my soul with a mystical Shakespearean pen that introduced me to the art of spoken word poetry. Well, being in this transcendental state, I came to the conclusion that any dream I have will lose in esteem, as my mama always taught me, the truth is inside of you, as long as you believe in the art to awaken your dreams, by using the power of words and letting them fly like birds in the art that lets the soul of your voice cry out. But the voice alone cannot carry its tongue and lips that gives it wings. My epiphany moment happened when I realized that poetry with a splash of moxie is a tool for healing oneself and the society by using conscious control over our emotions. Just like when the Italian artist Michelangelo discovered moxie the day that he ran into the unpolished stone that became the David and said, Mamma mia, I saw an angel in the Bible, and I can so lies, I carved, and I carved, and I carved, until I set them free. But the Greek philosopher Aristotle said it better. The aim of art is to represent not the outward appearance of things, but the inward significance by having the skin of an alligator and the heart of an angel. Yeah. My job as a reborn alpha red pill mock poet is to give you all the lanterns and use as gardens of the night shall fill with oil, light it as true healers as poetry with a splash of moxie, purpose is to educate, marinate our dreams in a spiritual journey with knowledge and flow. And now I'd like to close these words with the words of Shakespeare. The truth will always make the face of the devil blush. And if you can feel this, can I get an amen? amen. So now do me a favor. 
Savior, ay benditos. And these words of knowledge have been brought to you by the red-headed Jibarito de Puerto Rico, El Gringuito. Thank you very much. Keep enjoying the night, guys. Quiero mucho. Peace.